Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the complex number in the polar form, Argon diagram. A complex number can be represented on the diagram where we call the Argon diagram. For example, let's say the complex number Z is equal to 4 plus 3i. And we can denote it as a diagram where we have the diagram. On the y-axis, it is the imaginary part. For the x-axis, it is a real part. So here will be the location for the situation where we have 4, 3. The 4 is the real part and the 3 is the imaginary part. So step number 1 is to find the modulus of Z, where we have the modulus or the length of OA, where we call it as the modulus of Z or the complex number Z, where A plus BI is the complex number and the formula would be modulus of Z would be square root of A squared plus with the B squared. So here will be the length for the situation. Next is to find the angle where we have the argument. The angle theta is called the argument of A plus BI and is written as argument of Z. So here we have the argument of Z. So the following are the steps. Argument of Z, or we can say it, arc tangent for B over A, where the theta or the angle is in between negative pi and pi. It's called the principal argument, or we can say the basic angle. Next, the argument of Z is the angle measured from the positive x-axis, either in an anti-clockwise direction or clockwise manner. So here we have the polar form of a complex number. A complex number Z is equal to A plus BI, also can be written in a polar form. So this one, we call it as a Cartesian form. If it's in a polar form, so Z is equal to R, where we have the modulus of Z. Multiply with cos theta, where the theta is the argument of Z, plus with the I sine theta, 